Many of us are still marveling over photos and videos captured during yesterday's eclipse, while others may be questioning some interesting symptoms. An Urbana eye doctor says if you didn't wear protective glasses, now was the time to be on the lookout for changes. WCI3's Ariana Williams is with us. Ariana, how soon should people expect to see any signs of damage? The damage can happen within seconds and the side effects can be seen just as soon. Most people may think it'll go away in time like a simple sunburn, but in some cases it can last a lifetime. Many times we can actually see it on exam when we look at the film in the back of the eye. We can actually see almost the imprint of the sun in the back of the eye. If you didn't have glasses, you probably looked at the eclipse through your phone's camera. Dr. David Sola Deval says our bare eyes operate in the same way. The lens or iris opens up to let more light in. When if they get a lot of light all of a sudden, especially for more than a few seconds during the, the eclipse, and you're not using the right protection, you can actually kill essentially those cells in the retina. So if you looked with no protection and noticed it was easier to not look away, it was a reason for that. Part of the reason the eclipse is so dangerous, too, is that when it's dark, our pupils dilate and more light gets in. But when it's sunny outside, our pupils actually constrict. They get very small. But that elongated gaze on the moon-covered sun may have cost your eyes more than you're willing to pay. Missing spots in the vision, sunshade patches, and partially cloudy vision are just some of the side effects. And you can actually end up getting something called solar retinopathy, which is a fancy term for essentially a, a damage, a permanent damage to that film in the back of the eye that we call the retina. Sola DeVal says he's seen many patients over the years for this condition. But in most cases, all that can be offered is support. Um, unfortunately, that there's not... There are not a lot of great treatments for it. Many times, you, as I said, you have to wait it out. Obviously, at that point, you know, be seen so at least you can get diagnosed and you know what's happening. He says even if it isn't solar retinopathy, being seen is the safest way to figure out what if you're experiencing any symptoms. Sola DeVea says too much sun exposure to the eye can speed up cataract formation and macular degeneration. A simple pair of sunglasses is always a good idea. Back to you. Now, other symptoms include increased light sensitivity, distorted vision, changes in how you see color, and vision-induced headaches.